Okay, guys, uh, so uh, people ask me, how can I create pages? And how can I make sure that only a certain set uh, of users can access this page and a certain set of users can access another page? How can I secure my pages so that I can have several groups of users and they can each access their own pages? So I thought, let's make a video. Let's show them how, uh, how it is done in NoCodex. So uh, first of all, let's, my plan is this. I will create a navigation for a, a fresh application, completely started from scratch. I will create a, a page, number one, and I will create a page number two. And after I've, I've set this up, then I will uh, create two users and I will create one admin user and this admin user will have access to one single page of those two and the other user will, uh, this admin user will have access to each page and this uh, other user, uh, which is not an admin user, will have access to only one of those two pages. So then um, everything will be clear. So let's start. So first of all, I will be I will be needing a navigation. I can build one from scratch, but um, there are plugins for that in uh, No Codex. So let me just find the navigation plugin uh, right here, and I can install it by using this button. And once this plugin has been installed, I will have. Um, I will have um, um, templates and components to my disposal that I can use as a navigation. So first of all, I can create my own uh, root template, uh, but I won't be doing that. I will be using one of the root templates that are built into the plugin, the site navigation, because they add on responsiveness by default. So I can open up a responsive site navigation uh, right here, and I can use this as the root template for my page. So let's just rename this to root. Voila, this is my root template. So all my pages will be children of this uh, page right here. So um, the first thing that I have to do is probably, no, authentication is switched off, so that's good. So yeah, let's start creating uh, the pages. So first of all, I go to hierarchy and I create two children of my root template. So let me just zoom in a little bit like this. I have two children. I have my root, which is the parent, root child, and root child, which is the child or are the children of this uh, root template. I go into one of the children and I call this secured, secured page number one. Let's just make the path as well, secured page number one, like this, voila. Then I go into the second, so I go, hop back to the, uh, hop back to the root. I zoom in a little bit and I open up the second one and I call this secured page number two. Number two, secured page number two, like this, voila. So now the page is called secured page number two and let's just add for recognizability, let's just add a title in both of them. So I can do it in here. There's a small um, vertical list right here. So I'll just choose secured page number one like this. I go back to here and uh, I'll go back to the secured page number two. I drop a title in here as well. I make this one grow like this and I call this secured page number two. Secured page number two like this. So let's see, let's see. So no, mo most of the time, normally, uh, yeah, the authentication is off. So if I open up this page, I should see a site navigation without links and or with the default links, uh, so to say, uh, and with secured page number one. And in this case, I should see secured name page number two. So let's change those links. So changing links uh, on a component that is on every page of your application, well, that should be done on the root. So I head back to the root page. I grab my um, my site nav right here and I just let me just remove the links that are in place. And let me say this is a secured application. That is actually the title of my application. So uh, and now let me um, add 
some links. So for a link, I can add an icon or I can choose an SVG, which I found, found on the internet. So let me just do that. I'll copy this SVG right here. I'll paste it into here. Now, the thing is with SVGs, if you use it with a no codex and you want to uh, use uh, the settings with a no codex to set the color of the SVG, you'll have to override the strokes on every path of that SVG or the fill in case uh, this F SVG uses fill color as well. But in this case, it uses a stroke. So you'll just have to override it to current color. So let me just find all the path in, paths in this SVG and change it to current color. Now I know this is a bit cumbersome, but uh, we will be adding on tools to do this automatically for you in the future. So you don't have to worry about that anymore so i think i have all the parts in this svg and now let's call um, this first uh, link secured secured page one we have an active part of secured dash page dash one and then let's create our own click go to go to secured page one voila and um, I use a root to page, the root to page function, secure page number one, like this, voila. That's the first one set up. I head back to the root and I start setting up the next one. So I'll grab another icon for this one, like this. And I'll again change all the strokes to current color color like this copy paste I'll see if I just make sure that you don't miss any um, parts and again we'll be adding more tools in, the, uh, in further releases to make this much simpler like this voila so that's the icon setup i'll call this secured page two the active path is secured dash page dash two and then we'll create an action which should be executed when we click this link go to secured page two like this okay we use the root the, the root root to page function and we say okay you should root to secured page number two now that i think of it i have to check if i did the same if i completed this root page yeah i did so perfect so uh, now i should have an uh, a site navigation so let's see let's see if i reload this page the site navigation should appear so i have secured page number two which is uh, active at the moment as you can see it's black and if I switch to secure page number one, I arrive at secure page number one. So that's how you set up a navigation in no codex with two uh, several pages. So uh, now what I have to do now is I have to um, create some users because I want a user that has uh, that doesn't have the admin right. And I want a user that does have admin privileges. So let's create a few users. So I open up my user tab hit uh, users right here because we're creating actual users for our application not developers for our application so i hit create user and i will have to find a temporary email address uh, to create uh, this user so i'm generating an email address right now i can already fill in the passwords while it is generating and uh, voila like this and then uh, I can say this is a verified email address so that so that I don't have to verify this email address anymore. And I can say this is not a temporary password uh, or else I would be I would be requested to change the password upon login. So I open up, uh, I say the, the, the environment for which this user has to be created is development because I'm still in development and I am testing my application on the development environment. I hit save and now the user is being created. In the meanwhile, I will generate a no another email address. So let me just copy paste this into a, um, a document right here so I don't forget this 
email address and I am generating one right now. So the, the new user has been created and let's create an other user right here. So I start by adding uh, the password like this and now I already have um, the email address. So let me just retype this because I see that I made a mistake. So this is a verified email and this is not a temporary password. So I use test test as a last name and pa uh, last name and uh, first name. And then again, I choose development. So this user is now creating. So while this user is creating the plan, uh, the plan that we have next is we enable auto uh, authentication on all the pages. And uh, we will see if uh, I can log in with one of these users to view any of the pages. So that's the first step. So I go to a secured page number one, I open up authentication authorization and I switch it on. That's it. Secured page number two, authentication authorization and I switch it on. That's it. And now if I run this page, I should be redirected to a login page. Okay, it takes, it ta sometimes takes a while if the, uh, until this is, uh, um, or maybe I'm still logged in. Let me just check uh, like this and then let's run this page. Yeah, now I'm redirected to the login page. So I uh, can now authenticate with one of the users that I've created. So let me just choose the first user and let me log in with this first user. So like that, I am authenticated and now I have access to the secured page number one and secured page number two. So let me hit the logout button right here and now I uh, come across to the, the, the not found page. So um, actually this means that we still have to configure the uh, home page of this application. So let's quickly do that. We head over to applications and we click the edit button on the current application. We open up metadata and then we select uh, secured page number one as the home page. So what will happen next time that I log out is I will be logged out of, out of my account and I will be redirected to secured page number one. But because secured page number one is actually an, an, uh, an, uh, an secured page, so it's protected by authentication, you will be then redirected to the login page. So if you want to direct, directly go to a login page, you always have to uh, go by first start uh, by redirecting to a secured page. Remember that it's very important. So now let us maybe open up this secured page number one again, and you'll see that I'll uh, arrive at the login page right now. But that's not uh, that's not the the end game here. Uh, what I wanted to do actually is I wanted to make sure that I have an admin account and a non-admin account. So what you can do in uh, no codex is you can create groups which you can uh, use to group a certain set of users, and then you can create rights which you can use to um, give some privileges uh, to users. So um, a, a certain right could be uh, this uh, group of users or this user can read the books in my database. This user or this group of users can write books to my database. Those are, those are rights. Um, but in this case, I will create a right. This user can access secured page number two. So let me create it, secured page two. Let's save. And now I can create a group, which I will call admin. And I will assign the right to this group. So th that's actually saying all the admins, all the users in this group can actually access secured page number two. So let's save this. And now I go back to my users. I find one of the users that I have created, the second one, and I hit manage permissions. And then I'll have to scroll through some of the applications because I have many, many applications in this, um, in this, um, let me just see, 
uh, in this workspace, but I'll, uh, I'll have to select securing pages right here. So uh, I can choose here if I want to assign a right to this user, but it's far easier to assign an, uh, a group to this user because think of it this, this way. If within six months I will have to add another right to the group of admins and I have 20 admins, I would only have to assign this new right to the group, the admin group, instead of assigning each right uh, individually to each user. So um, that's why we invented groups uh, or that's why we implemented the idea of groups within NoCodex. So I hit OK and this user now has access to secured page number two. So let's now uh, secure our pages. So how do we secure pages? Well, easy. We open up authentication slash authorization and we create a new authorization rule. So we create a new authorization rule and um, admins, we call it admins, for example, and we say only admins can access this secured page. Voila. And that's how we do it. And now if we open up... Um, the secured page, of course, will have to log in first. And I will log in or I will authenticate with the user that does not have or does not belong to the admin group. So if everything went well, I should receive an unauthorized, uh, an unauthorized um, um, page. So I cannot access this, uh, this uh, uh, page. So this is the default error page, but yeah, you can customize it any way you want. So now we know that our user does not have access to um, secured page number two. Now, of course, if we uh, go to secured page number one, and I think I'm still uh, authenticated, yes, uh, you will see that there is still a link to secured page number two. Um, so uh, if I click that page, however, yeah, I will see that I do not have any rights to access uh, that page. So uh, this is a problem. You, you don't want to show links to users that they don't have access to. So um, we can actually fix this by going into the root, uh, opening up the template of the site navigation and heading over to that link uh, that uh, goes to secured page number two. And then I have to put in here the right that has access to this um, this link. So the name of the right is can access secured page number two. So now that we have uh, our active right um, in uh, in place so uh, now we can go back to secure secure page number uh, one and see what happens uh, if we reload the page so as you can see the um, the secured page number one link is the only link that is available so let me just log out for a second here and let's log in to um, our um, uh, application by using the admin user um, let's log in and as you can see this admin user has two links right here so he can switch between one and two so there's two things that you have to take care of first of all protect the page on uh, the by using an auto, uh, authorization link and then don't show the link to uh, the user the first thing is pure related to security the second thing is related to user experience voila so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you hope you uh, enjoy working with no codex and if there is anything that you want to know or if there is there are any videos that you want to see in the future please let me know and i'll try to uh, cook something up so yeah talk to you later bye Thank you.